Hello guys, in this tutorial we will tell you how to add nested form into your app. Enter your business name and click on next. Based on your business name, the app will show you some specific categories. If you can't find the appropriate category, click on view more categories. Here you will see all the categories. Choose the one that best suits your business. Once done, click on next. Now select an app design as per your choice and click on next. Click on view all here and search form builder here. Click on the page to add it. Here's your form builder page name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid outline icon or image from our library or upload your own custom icon image. Now let's move to content section to add nested form. Enter your desired form name here. From here, you can change its icon. If you want, you can select icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Now enter the email address on which you need to receive the inquiries. Click on add more button to add multiple email IDs. From here you can delete the email ID. Now enter the subject here. Tick mark this checkbox if you want to send inquiries confirmation email to customers. If you want to get GPS location of your app users, tick mark this checkbox. Enter the form description here. From here you can add header image to your form. Next comes form 1. Enter form name in this field. Next comes forms fields. Here you can see different columns such as active, field types, field name, field input, hints, and require fields. We have even provided a few field types which you can edit as per your needs. From here you can disable the existing field from the form. If you want you can even change the field, field types as per your requirements. You can even change the watermark text being shown on the form from here. If you want to add hint or particular field, tick mark this checkbox and provide the hint in the below field. From here you can make the field mandatory or non-mandatory. Click on this delete icon to delete the field from your form. In this similar way you can edit and update the other form fields. Click on add more to add multiple fields. Next comes after this form field. Here you can select your desired action that you want your users to be redirected to once they have completed the form. You can either send them to the next step or to the next form, or to same form or complete the step here. If you're sending your users to the next form, you need to add the form. Enter form name in this field. Like form 1, you will see the different columns such as active, field types, field name, field input hints, and require fields which you can edit, update as per your needs. Click on add more button to add multiple forms. Once you add a new form, the after this form field will be visible in the earlier, earlier one. Select your desired action. From here you can delete the form. Now let's move to language settings. Here you will see the alert messages that are appearing in your form page. If you want, you can edit and update the form from here. Next comes page style and color scheme. Now let's move to page style and color scheme. From here you can change the page background. If you want you can select a background image from a library or choose from solid colors or upload your own custom background image. If that's not enough you can also upload different custom images for both portrait and landscape mode or use the same for both modes. You can even change the page layout from here. Next comes advanced elements customization. From here you can change page elements, color, font style, font size, and indent. Tick mark this checkbox to hide border. If you want to resize, confirm button, tick mark this checkbox. Once you are done, click on save and continue to finish creating your app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.